How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be dyno testing a Tunnel Ram 2x4 406 eliminator. Before we get into this video, I was looking at the analytics and looking at how our channel was doing and I noticed that 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out a bunch. It's really easy to do and I would really appreciate it. So this engine is what we are working on today. This is our 406 Eliminator long block basically with a tunnel ram 2x4 intake manifold and carburetor system on top. The long block in this engine, it starts out with a Dart SHP engine block, 4.125 bore and 3.8 stroke with our Smetting forged crankshaft, which is a one piece rear seal. It also has our Smetting I-beam connecting rod with a custom JE2618 piston. Compression ratio on this guy is right above 10.0 to 1, so it's still safe on pump gas all over the country. Camshaft is full hydraulic roller. It's 236 slash 244 duration at 50. And it has about 5 point, I'm sorry, it has about 0.55 lift on the intake and the exhaust. This camshaft is cut on a 110 lobe separation angle with 4 degrees of advance ground into it. We are running our Smetting 195cc cylinder head assembled with our hydraulic roller spring pack to match the camshaft and our full roller aluminum rocker arm. With a single plane Holley intake manifold, this engine every time prints about 525 horsepower and about the same on torque, maybe a little bit less, about 515, 520 torque. So with Tunnel Ram, go ahead and leave a comment below. How much horsepower do you think it's going to pick up with this beast of an intake manifold? How much, mo how much horsepower is this motor going to make, Shay? Uh, I'm going to go 538. 538 horse. Mike, you going to throw a guess out there? Yeah, I'll go 540. 538 and 540. Okay, I see how this goes. Well, I'll play the game. I'll go 542 <laughs> and we'll see what it does. One of the big things with carburetor drivability is the basically the accelerator pump shot response so that as soon as you hit the gas pedal, the throttle linkage opens and it applies this accelerator pump and it immediately delivers fuel into the engine and that's called the accelerator pump shot. And so what I was just doing there was kind of adjusting and playing with these levers and then as well as drilling out this squirter to deliver more fuel to give us a better throttle response as soon as you blip the gas pedal. Um, out of the box, these always need to get adjusted. Um, and so, now that that's complete, the engine is already fully warmed up. I've already set our timing. Because this is a crate motor that we build hundreds of these, we know exactly how much timing that this cylinder head and compression ratio and camshaft and piston design is going to require. So in this video, you won't see me changing the timing because I know exactly what gives it the best torque. And so we're basically gonna go straight into fuel tuning 
And I can show you guys that process, especially with a two by four intake manifold. So with all that out of the way, let's fire the motor back up and we can make our first dyno pool. ratios were so rich that it maxed out the AFR gauges and also I need to readjust my linkage a little bit because full throttle on the dyno my carbs were nowhere near they're probably only at 50 or 60 percent I don't know if y'all be able to see that but let me go ahead and play with the linkage a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and pull a bunch of jet out of the secondaries as well to lean out the fuel mixture and then we'll make our second hit Okay, so on our dyno here, we're recording AFR ratios on the left bank and the right bank throughout the full pool. So if we average all of this data together, we have a current average AFR of 10.5 to 1. I'm going to lean that number down to 12.5 to 1 by changing the secondary jets. So if we come here on the engine, this is a four barrel poly carburetor. Half of it are the primaries, the other half are the secondaries. The primaries are where all your daily driving is done. So all your part throttle stuff. And then as you floor it more and more and more and this linkage opens, it then engages the secondaries. So my part throttle drivability tune-up is perfect out of the box on these carbs, but obviously we're rich in the back, so we're only going to adjust the secondaries. Currently these have 75s in them. I'm gonna go down to 70s and see what numbers we get after that change. So we've pulled five jets out of the secondaries on the carburetors. I've got the motor warmed back up and we're gonna do our second pull here. So we've pulled a little bit of jet out of it and I fixed the linkage so we'll actually get full throttle this time and see how much horsepower this engine can make. Okay, full throttle makes full throttle power. So let's check our air fuel ratio averages on that pool. And we're still averaging 11.5 to one AFR. So I'm gonna pull another good number of jet out of it and try to get into the mid 12s. Let's check our oil pressure is solid 70s, almost 80 pounds, and then it hits the pressure relief. But yeah, and that's just crazy. 550 horse, 555 torque, still super rich. If I overlay our standard single plane intake is all underneath it. And what's really crazy is how much torque the tunnel ram is making down here with that much longer runner. So I'm going to pull a little more jet out of this motor and we'll make another hit.
dyno graph from that last pool. Leaning it out didn't affect anything up top, but you can see it did make us a little bit more torque down low on the lower end of the rev range. So let me take off and let me add on our standard single plane. Now look at that, that's, that's crazy cool. So our AFRs are now good. Um, they're right at 12.5 to 1, which is what I'm looking for. And we're making 550 horse and almost 560 foot-pounds of torque. There you go, guys. Pretty neat. Every engine that we build here that's complete gets dyno tested and fully broke in, of course. And so during this process now, we're going to fully inspect the motor, make sure there's no oil leaks, no coolant leaks, nothing silly like that. Make sure everything's absolutely perfect. And... That's a standard part of our package, part of our process, if you will. So this motor is good. It's 100% healthy. Now we're going to pull it off the dyno and we'll get it in its crate. And this motor can actually go to one of you guys. It will be for sale. This motor is not owned by anybody right now. So if you're interested in it, make sure to give us a call or shoot me an email. Here the motor is off the dyno, all polished up, looking super clean. Those two by fours really just dominate the scene. Super cool. So this engine is actually going to go on sale on our website if you go to smettingperformance.com and then click the specials tab at the top little menu bar there and you can view this engine. And uh, yeah, it turned out really cool. We built it kind of for fun just to test tunnel rams on a small block Chevy. We had a local customer drop off a tunnel ram 2x4 for his big block build we were doing and that really like kind of inspired us to do a small block to see how our 406 would respond. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next week.